Welcome to the beautiful airless wasteland that is the satellite McDuff. Joining us on the mission today is uh, MacWarrior Bellmaker in his 50 ton Nova. Bellmaker requested a configuration consisting entirely of medium lasers. I like to use the V form formation because it puts your star mates out in front of you where they can't shoot you in the back. Better go and check it out. Looks like this guy has got himself lost about a kilometer from the base. External camera engaged. I'm piloting another Storm Crow for this mission. Obviously, uh, now that I'm not using it in a trial position, I can use a customized loadout. What have we here? Usually you want to split up your uh, targets for your star mates. Get as uh, many of the enemy mechs distracted from attacking you as possible. I'm going to tackle this mad dog because it looks like more of a threat than those two gens. Incoming message. Friendly damaged unit reports situation to be a trap. Multiple hostile units detected within the perimeter. Yes, thank you for that. Just in case you hadn't noticed, this is an ambush. If I can take out both this mad dog's arms, that will leave him with his only weapons uh, being LRM-20s, which the AI won't use if you're close enough. So I've effectively neutered him now, so long as I stay close. Heat level critical. Shutdown sequence initiated. Shutdown sequence overridden. You might notice that there are no explosion effects in this level. It's just something that happens whenever you're on a planet uh, with no atmosphere. damaged unit over there is just going to leave us to fight all of these guys on our own. We want to get out of the line of fire at the storm crow. That is an annoying bug. Sometimes when you overheat your mech, you'll just shut down a second or so before you can even override it. What we can do in situations like that is hope that you're not in a position where you're going to take too much damage. In this case I've lost my arm but as always I don't put anything important in that. Look at that sunrise. Really? You shouldn't really be able to see something like that world with no atmosphere, but artistic license, I guess. It's fire moths just pursuing our friendly Hellbringer back to base. Enemy mech destroyed. Point two reports target destroyed. Hellmaker's is finally taking care of that Jenna. Generally, the AI star mates aren't very effective at doing a lot of damage quickly. I find them more useful as distractions. Destroyed. 
LRMs for the most part are pretty good weapons. They have a reasonably long range and they do home in. All points. In your target. You can also uh, lock on and then change your firing angle to fire over obstacles, which is very useful sometimes. Let me see if I can do a bit of indirect fire on this Nova. Now, on my test run through this mission, uh, Goldmaker over there got a headshot on an enemy Nova and killed him in about 10 seconds. It would have been really nice for that to happen again, but sadly it wasn't the case. have to have a lock for LRMs to fire. But if you fire before they are locked on, they'll just fly straight, and it's very difficult to hit anything at more than point blank range. All points attacking your target. I definitely want to get this rifleman distracted from me. It's armed with four large pulse lasers, which can do a lot of damage very quickly. I'd much rather he be shooting at something that isn't me. You can see in the bottom right, there's a weapon camera, which only works with SRMs and LRMs. This shows you a, a point of view from missiles in flight. It's not really all that useful. About the only time it's handy is when you're shooting over an obstacle and you can use it to see if you're actually hitting anything or not. Looks like Bill Maker might need a bit of a hand. definitely interested in me. The Rifleman's another one of those mechs that has all of its weapons in its arms, so if you can take care of those, it effectively can't damage you at all. Any AI unit that's equipped with jump jets sometimes likes to try for a death above attack like this. Luckily they're never successful, I've never actually been uh, killed or significantly damaged by that. He's realized that isn't going to work and he's just making a run for it. Congratulations to Bellmaker for getting two mech kills this mission. Well, with that, the mission's over and we just need to head back to Nav 5 for dust off. Thanks for joining me for Jade Falcon Mission 6, Book Obelisk. I'll see you next time. Nav 5 reached. Mission successful.